Hi everyone, thanks so much for tuning in today for this yoga session with me. Um, as I have mentioned, I'm a newer yoga teacher, so this is a great way for me to practice and I hope that you take something from this practice yourself, something that is supportive and beneficial. Um, so let's get started. I'll just first go briefly over the format. Um, so I'll be leading you through what I call a slow flow sequence. Following that, um, I'll lead you through a short guided meditation. And as you can see behind me again, there's Rumi's Book of Love again. And I'll be reading a short poem or excerpt. I think I had mentioned this in the intro video from this uh, book. There's something else I found in here that I really liked, so I'd like to share that with you to close off the practice. So let's get started. Um, please come to a comfortable cross-legged position on the mat. Hands can be anywhere that's uh, comfortable. And just gently close the eyes. And begin to tune in to the breath. Just watch as the breath moves in through the nose. Filling the front body, the back body, almost like a 3D breath. Watch as it gently fills the belly. Right arm up, look up, and on the 
exhale about halfway, we thread it through that left shoulder. On the inhale, sweep the arm up, look up. On the exhale, thread through. One more time. On the inhale, sweep the arm up. And on the exhale, thread through. So let's place that palm beside the other palm now and do the other side. So on the inhale, we sweep the left arm up, look up. And on the exhale, we thread it through the right shoulder about halfway. Inhale, sweep up, look up. Exhale, thread through. One more time, inhale, sweep up, look up. Exhale, thread through. Now bring that palm back down. And we'll gently begin by tucking the toes, lifting the knees a few inches off the mat, Hold here for a few breaths. The navel will hug in towards the spine for a bit of an activation. Strong core. Another two breaths here. And on the next exhale, please shift the flow of the hips up to downward facing dog. Our first downward facing dog. So downward facing dog, our fingers are spread wide and firmly, evenly onto the mat. Our arms are about shoulders distance apart. Our feet are about hips distance apart. Shoulders are broad. Our inner elbow is rotating down. You may feel a bit of a neck stretch. Drop the back knee. On an inhale, we sweep the arms up. Look up. 
sink back to the hips. Still want to feel a bit of an activation here, so our right hip is drawing forward as our left hip draws back for a bit of a scissoring action and an activation there. On the exhale, you plant the palms down, lift that back knee, and step back to plank. Strong plank, straight line of energy pointing forward. Push up through the shoulders. A deep inhale here. On an exhale, knees, chest, chin come down to the mat. And on an inhale, we roll the shoulders back to cobra, slither to cobra. From here, our hips come to our heels and we rise into a downward facing dog. Let's go again for the other side. From downward facing dog, step in between the hands. On the inhale, we sweep the arms up, look up, gentle back bend. On the exhale, fold forward at the hips. Inhale, lift halfway to flat back. Exhale, fold forward. This time, left leg lunges back. Drop the back knee. On the inhale, we sweep the arms up. Look up. Still feeling that activation, that scissoring action of the back hip drawing forward, the front hip drawing back. Deep inhale here. Exhale, palms to mat. Step back to plank. Another inhale here. Exhale, knees, chin, chest, come down to the mat. And on the inhale, we roll the shoulders back and slither to cobra. On the exhale, hips to heels, we rise into the downward facing dog. Let's go again. Downward facing dog, please step or hop in between the hands. On the inhale, we sweep the arms up, look up, gentle back bend. On the exhale, we fold forward at the hips. On an inhale, we lift halfway to flat back. And on an exhale, we lunge the right leg back, back, drop the knee. On an inhale, we sweep the arms up, strong legs. On the exhale, palms to mat, we step to plank. Take a deep inhale here. Exhale. Knees, chest, chin, come down to the mat. On the inhale, we roll back to cobra. On the exhale, hips to heels, downward facing dog. On the exhale, we step in between the hands. On the inhale, we sweep our arms up, look up, gentle back bend. On the exhale, we fold forward. On the inhale, we lift halfway, flat back, Exhale, left knee lunges, left foot lunges back, we drop the back knee. On the inhale, we sweep the arms up, look up, strong legs. On the exhale, plant the palms, step back to plank. Deep inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, come down to the mat. On the inhale, we slither up to go right, using the strength of our back body. And on the exhale, Hips to heels, downward facing dog. Let's go one more time. Let's go one more time on the exhale. Step in between the hands. On the inhale, we sweep the arms up. Look up, gentle back bend. On the exhale, we fold forward. On the inhale, we lift halfway to flat back. On the exhale, this time right leg lunges back. We drop the back knee. On an inhale, we sweep the arms up, look up. On the exhale, palms to mat, step back to plank. Deep inhale here, exhale, knees, chest, chin, come down to the mat. On the inhale, rotate the shoulders back to cobra. On the exhale, hips to heels, rise into a downward facing dog. Last time on the other side. On the exhale, we step in between the hands, on an inhale, we sweep the arms up, look up, gentle back bend. On the exhale, we fold forward at the hips. On an inhale, lift halfway to flat back. On an exhale, left leg lunges back, we drop the back knee. On an inhale, we sweep the arms up, sinking back at the hips. And on an exhale, palms to mat, we step back to plank. Inhale 
here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Come down to the mat. Roll the shoulders back and slither to cobra. This time, hips to heels. And let's all come into a child's pose. Toes. 
and our hands are energized, pointing forwards and back. Tailbone is lengthening down. Just breathe here. Our gaze can be at that front middle finger. And see what happens if you begin to lift the inner arches of the front and back foot. You may feel a bit of an opening up, an external rotation. Another deep breath here. On the exhale, straighten that front knee. Bring that back hand around, circle it around the waist. Flip the right hand up. On the inhale, and reverse the warrior, dance back the warrior. On the exhale, we reverse the movements of the hand and reach up and over. Inhale, dance back. Exhale, reach up and over. Inhale, dance back, reaching. Exhale, reach up and over. One more time. Inhale, dance it back. Exhale, reach up and over. So let's come back into a reverse warrior. And this time we'll bring our hands to that warrior two position, reaching forward and back. And this time we'll send that right hip back. We'll reach, reach forward as much as we can. And when we can't reach anymore, we'll gently let that front arm fall. The back hand goes up to triangle. Our okay, gaze is at the right thumb. Take a deep inhale here. Triangle pose. And if you have a tendency to lock the knees like me, feel free to take a micro bend in that, in that knee. We don't want too much pressure. We're creating a bit of hollowness in space as we send that right hip back, creating a sense of spaciousness. rise through the torso, drop the hands, and now we begin to inch that back foot a few, shuffle that foot a few inches in as we prepare to launch into half moon pose. So feel free to keep that hand at the hip, take a deep inhale here, lifting the chest, revolving the chest open, gaze can be at our front thumb. And on the exhale, we'll float that right leg up and come into half moon pose. So there's hip to hip, to hip alignment. Our gaze can be at a point in front. And try shifting weight onto that front foot and see if that helps with the balance. Take another deep inhale here and exhale. exhale, float that right foot down, take, let go of your arms, loosen the legs, take a deep inhale and exhale, now let's begin to turn that left foot in so that it's parallel to, to the back, to the right foot, so our feet are now parallel and pointing forward, the stance can be a little bit wider,
move on to the other side. So let's shorten the stance a little bit. And turn that right foot out this time. So the right foot is facing forward. The left foot is slightly turned in. Let's begin to bend that front knee in line with the ankle. Still want to be able to see those toes. Let's energize out through the hands. Gaze to that front. Gaze to that right middle finger. And more for warrior two. Some few breaths of warrior two. See again if you can lift the inner arches of the front and the back foot. The chest is lifted, arms are energized. More breaths here. Now flip that front palm up. The left arm circles around the waist, back of the waist. We begin to straighten that front knee. On the inhale, we reverse the warrior. On the exhale, we reach up and over. On the inhale, reverse, hands it back. On the exhale, we reach up and over. Inhale, dance it back. Exhale, reach up and over. One more time. Reach up and over, and on the inhale, reverse the warrior. So let's bring our hands now to that warrior two position. as we go into triangle pose. So we'll shift the, this time we're shifting that left, sending that left hip back, creating spaciousness, hollowness. And we're reaching, reaching, reaching forward with that right hand. When you can't reach any further, just gently let it graze and land wherever it does. The left arm is energized, pointing straight up. Gaze can be at that left thumb for triangle. Our chest is revolved open. A few more deep breaths here. When you're ready, begin to rise up through the torso. Begin to shuffle that back foot in a few steps. Right hand can be at our hip. We'll begin to bend that right knee. Deep inhale here, chest is open. And on the exhale, we float or glide that back leg up into half moon pose. Hip to hip alignment. Gaze is at our right thumb or fixed point at the front. And see if you can shift the weight onto that right foot to help with the balance. Chest is revolving open. If you'd like to try, you can even Shift that left hand up and gaze can go towards that left hand. It's a bit tricky, but feel free to try it. And it's okay if we fall, if we come out of the posture. I do that all the time and it's, it's, it's all about what works for you and just simply try it. So on the next exhale, bring that left foot back down. We'll widen the stance a bit and go into a forward, a wide-legged, forward fold on uh, for the second time. This time, let's um, interlace the fingers behind our back. Take a deep inhale, lift the chest up, and on the exhale, begin to fold forward at the hips. Just 
breathe here. Knees can be bent. We're feeling that sense of rootedness and lengthening up through the torso. Feet are firmly rooted and we're lengthening up as we fall. So, undo the interlace and begin to shift those feet onto an angle and begin to bend the knees. So, the knees are now in line with the feet, so they're pointing straight forward. So, we don't want it to collapse in or uh, in like this, we want it to face towards our feet. But we're going to a lot what I call a goddess flow. Let's bring our palms at our heart center. On the inhale, we sweep the arms up, draw the energy up, and on the exhale, we bend the knees and draw the energy into the heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up, look up, exhale, we draw the energy into the heart center. Inhale, straighten, exhale, draw the energy in. One more time, inhale, straighten. Exhale, draw the energy in. Inhale, straighten it up. This time, let's begin to shuffle the feet in slightly, and then come down into a squat, and then lock down onto our mat. So we're now down onto our mat, and we'll do a series of seated postures, or postures closer to the uh, mat. So let's bring the soles of both of our feet in for butterfly pose, and just begin to flap the knees a bit. Just let out any tension, just loosen up, just play a little bit. Just begin to flap the knees. Let's, uh, let's stop with the movement. To bring that right leg straight out in front, the heel of the left foot will touch the inner thigh of the right foot. On the inhale, we'll sweep the arms up, root down into our seat bones, and then revolve towards that right straight leg. On an exhale, we'll fold forward and then down. So we'll reach forward and then down. And let's just... Thank 
collapsed. Try to put some even pressure on the seat bones. See if that activates the muscles in the back, fires up the muscles in the legs. Just breathe here for another two breaths. And on the exhale, begin to drop the hip back down. And this time, we're going to interlace our fingers behind so that they're just directly be, um, positioned down from the uh, sacrum and we'll lift the hips up again with our sh shoulders tucking in towards the center line of the body. We'll lift the hips up. With every inhale we lift higher and press down into the feet. Another deep inhale here. And on the exhale, bring those hips down. And now let's do a bit of a mobile twist. So bring the feet about mat distance apart and then knock the knees one into the other. Bring the hands to cactus position, so slightly bent or over our head. And we'll begin to slosh the knees left and right. So as we slosh right, gaze goes towards the left and we hold for a few breaths. As we slosh left, gaze goes to the right. Let's hold for a little breath. So just do this at your own pace, sloshing right to left as the head moves the opposite way. And just feel the twist. One more breath here. 
and now gently begin to bring the feet down. And let's straighten the legs into Shavasana. Now, 
completely filling every inch and every crevice of the entire universe, filling the universe with a sense of calmness, beauty, lightness, and love. When you're ready, please bring some gentle movements into the fingertips and hands. in whatever way is comfortable, please shift up into a seated position. Close your eyes and just continue to stay with the breath and the glow as I read you a poem from Rumi's Book of Love. Begin. This is now. Now is. Don't postpone. Till then. Spend the spark of iron on stone. Sit at the head of the table. Dip your spoon in the bowl. Seat yourself. Next to your joy and have your awakened soul pour wine. Branches in the spring wind. Easy dance of jasmine and cypress. Cloth for green robes has been cut from pure absence. You're the tailor, settled among his shop's goods, quietly sewing. Feel free to flutter the eyes open. Thanks so much for coming in and tuning in to this practice. I hope you were able to support yourself in some way um, through this practice. Thanks so much. Namaste.